The procedure for mounting EDC housings is the same regardless of size. I have an EDC O2P here and I'm going to show you how to manage buffer to fan out kits in the housing. As you can see my cable is coming in from the left side and it's through a compression fitting. Now two holes have to be cut into the housing to allow for the installation of compression fittings or other conduit fittings. The holes are two and a quarter from one and two and three quarters from the, uh, the other and one and a half from the back. My cable is also strain relieved. I'm using cable ties and I'm also securing the central strength member because for each cable that experiences temperature fluctuations the last 10 meters, the central strength member has to be strain relieved. On top of this, one installs two flat washers which are used to capture yarn if it's present on your cable and that is that for cable strain relief. Remove about 50 inches of slack from your cable. That will give you about 40 inches for two loops of slack storage up here and then the rest you can use to install your buffer to fan out kits. To start, safety glasses as always and I'm going to remove the blank, a blank panel here by depressing on the two tabs top and bottom. Retract the plungers on your connector panel and then depress them to secure the connector panel in place. Now to start with this thing, I'm going to wrap my two loops of slack up here in a counterclockwise direction, just like that. And then we're going to use a permanent marker to make a mark close to the fan out bracket, which is right here. We're going to use a small coaxial stripper to remove the buffering and you can remove it in smaller sections and then I'm going to install this in a buffer to fan out kit here and show you how to route it back in, uh, in the housing. We do have a video on how to do this of course. Once you're done installing the fan out kit it's time to route everything back in here. And you're going to route it in the same fashion as you did before. After the second loop, just slide the fan out kit and then use a cable tie to secure it in place. Be careful when using snips not to cut yourself or the fibers and then route the fan out legs in a counterclockwise fashion and then plug your connectors into the connector panel. Just remember to clean them before you do that. Well, if you have any other questions regarding this EDC O2P, please give us a call or send us an email at cablesystems at coning.com. And remember, Coning Cable Systems recommends getting training fiber optic installation. We offer a series of classes, of course, and we thank you.